Hey everyone, I'm Izzy from Grindhouse and we have teamed up with the world's most successful rugby team, the New Zealand All Blacks, to bring you workouts that have been designed based on their coaching techniques. And they are going to strengthen your body and also strengthen your mental resilience. The fusion of mental and physical fitness can optimize your performance by improving your concentration, by helping with your emotional responses and aiding you with injury and pain. We're going to work together to build your mental and physical resilience. Progress only happens outside of your comfort zone, so you're going to have to give your all to complete these workouts. Success comes at a point where you overcome those challenges. You need to focus, push through the discomfort, and remind yourself of why you're doing this. If you want to thrive, you've got to take the brakes off, and that is exactly what we're going to do today. So before we begin our abs workout today, we are just going to practice the mindfulness that the All Blacks always use to get themselves centered and ready for their training sessions. So before you start any big task, you want to quieten down your mind. You can place your hand on your stomach, your chest, let your arms relax down by your sides. And we're just going to close our eyes for 60 seconds. And we're just going to focus on our breathing. So if you just close your eyes down for me now, place your hands wherever it's comfortable. Just take a big inhale through your nose and just breathe out through your mouth. Just start to feel your shoulders drop away from your ears. Really taking big inhales through the nose, big exhales out through the mouth. And this is a time when some intrusive thoughts might come up and you just want to acknowledge them. Don't ignore them and then just let them fall away. This is about just clearing your mind before we get on with the task at hand. So much easier to complete a challenge when your mind is already engaged and focused. Good, another 15 seconds here. Three, two, one. Perfect, just slowly blinking the eyes open. Start to take in your surroundings again. And now you should feel like your brain is super engaged, super focused and super clear and ready to take on this next 15 minute session. So all you're gonna need for this workout is one dumbbell today. I'm gonna talk you through the movements one by one, really controlled. So the first round is gonna be very simple. It's literally gonna be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So we'll have plenty of time to get to grips with each of the movements one by one. And then the second round, I'm gonna to start to increase the time it takes to do each movement. And that is where the work starts to happen. And that is where we really have to push through. So get yourselves ready. In 10 seconds, you're gonna take your dumbbell up. And all we're gonna do is slide the dumbbell down our right leg and then pull it back up towards the hip. Ready? We're gonna go in three, in two, in one. So we're just gonna hit the obliques and you're gonna keep that dumbbell in your right hand. So sliding down the outside of the leg and you should feel a pull on that opposite side. That oblique here is working to drive you back up and over. So don't try not to shrug your shoulder. Try to stay nice and straight. Try to pull up and coming over. Good. Good, nice. You got three, two, one. Beautiful, pop the dumbbell down. Of course, we've got to balance it out and we've got to do it on the other side. So now we've just got 20 seconds to breathe and chill before we move on to that other side. Now, just to reiterate, there is no ego here. We work as a team. Ego gets nothing done, okay? We trumps me, so we've got to work together to get through the next 15 minutes. So start to get your mind focused now. We're gonna to go to the other side in four, in three, in two, in one. Sliding down, keep the knees soft. Pulling away, good. Control it down, squeeze, good. This first round is gonna be real slow and controlled. We do not need to move super fast. In fact, you sometimes, if not always, get way better results from moving at a much more controlled pace. Yes, we be quick when we need to be quick, but in movements like this, we don't need to just yet. We go three, two, one, Squeeze up to center, good. You've got 30 seconds to put your dumbbell down and we're gonna come down to the floor for this next exercise. This is called a butterfly sit up. Soles of the feet together, the knees are out to the side and all you're gonna do is roll back through your spine 
tap the floor behind you. You're going to roll back up through every vertebrae and you're going to tap the floor in front of your toes. So those are the rules. You've got to tap in front and you've got to tap behind. Get yourself ready in five, four, let the knees relax. Three, two, one, tap in front. Roll down every bit of your spine. Bring it up forward. Good. Use that breath. Tap. Nice. Big reach forward. Make sure you're not just falling back. See, I didn't use any of my spine in that one. So think about tucking your pelvis and it's like you've got a piece of string through your belly button being pulled behind you. Rolling down. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Well done. Coming into a high plank position. Next one coming up, your shoulders are going to be over your wrists. Okay. So we're going to go for a squeeze of the knee, sending it back. Squeeze of the knee to the outside of that elbow. And then you're going to send it back to that plank position. Ready? We're going to go in five, in four, in three, two, one. Here we go. Shoulders right over the wrists here. Push your upper back up to the ceiling. And then you are in that perfect position that perfect plank to squeeze that knee towards the elbow, okay? If you're pushed too far back here, there is no way that knee is gonna get to that elbow. So you've got to get the chest right over the hands, squeeze it in, send it back. Now you're really gonna feel those obliques that we worked earlier. Squeezing that knee right up, good. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, dropping down. Last one we're gonna do. Onto your butt again, you're going to give me a Russian twist. So options here, you can either take the dumbbell in both hands and you can keep your heels on the floor or you can raise your legs off. So two options. Number one, chest is going to be lifted. We rotate and then we lift that chest up to the ceiling. We come over to the other side and then we lift here. So as long as you've got that lift of the chest, you're all good. If you would like to bring the feet in, we're going to go here. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Rotate, lift the chest. You've got to really focus on this one. Really, really engage your mind. You've got to build up that mental resilience. In this last one, this is going to be the challenger, I promise you. When we get to that final round, this is the one that is going to make or break. And we have to do everything to fight against any of those intrusive thoughts. We've got six, five, four, three, two, one, perfect. All right, just take a little breather. Before we stand back up, something that the All Blacks practice is something called anchoring. So you might have seen um, before a game, athletes, they sometimes do something where they'll dig their heel into the ground or they'll pull on their ear. That is what we call anchoring. And it's a little physical response to try and get your mind to really engage and stay present in the moment. So you can practice little things, whether it's a little squeeze of the finger and thumb together, or whether it's something that you do with your eyes that you notice in the room. You look at something, you engage, and then you are ready to take on that challenge in front of you. So let's practice a little bit of anchoring. Decide what your anchor is going to be now. We're going to do it before this round, and we're going to practice it before the next round as well, all right? So get yourselves back up. 15 seconds, okay? Practice that anchor, whatever it is. Ear, little toe dig, little squeeze of the finger and thumb. That just tells your mind. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do this, okay? So second round we go. In three, in two, in one, right side obliques, down the side, pulling away. Good, lifting up and out of the waist, squeezing. So now we're gonna be working for 40 seconds on and you're only gonna get 20 seconds break, okay? So we're gonna move a touch faster on the pace as well, just to bring up that intensity. Sliding down. Squeezing up, good. 15 seconds left. Really think about lifting up and out of the waist. Do not wiggle those hips around. Keep the knees nice and soft. Down, pulling up, good. We have five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, put that dumbbell down. You've got 20 seconds to breathe. 20 seconds, anchor yourself, get your head in the game. Ready to hit it, we go in nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, dumbbell up. We go. Three, two, one. Sliding down, pulling away. Good. We're trying to keep those hips as steady as possible. If your hips are starting to slip, just take the feet a little bit wider. Really think about grounding yourself into the floor. Keep the knees soft, tucking the tailbone, 
Really feel your feet spreading out into the ground. You'll feel a lot more comfortable in that position. You're now halfway, 20 seconds left. Focus on that breath. When it gets hard, focus on your inhale, focus on your exhale. Final 10. Good. We got six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Coming down to the floor, 20 seconds. Soles of the feet together. We're going to hit that butterfly sit up, okay? Get yourself ready. Rolling down through the spine. Tap the floor in front of you every time. That can be your anchor for the day. Smacking those hands on the floor. We go in three, in two, in one. Here we go. Roll down through the spine. Tap. Hit it. Let's go. Hit it. Let's go. Come on. Rolling back. Big reach. We've got this. Reaching all the way through. You've still got 25 seconds left. Something else we've been practicing in these sessions is that redhead thinking versus bluehead thinking. Redhead thinking, it leads to frustration, leads to anger, leads to making mistakes, leads to carelessness. We don't want that. We want that bluehead thinking. We are focused, we're engaged, we're clear headed. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. 20 seconds to breathe. We're coming over into that high plank. This one is going to be challenging, okay? The next two minutes, I've deliberately put the most challenging movements at the end. This is the peak, okay? We've got eight seconds. I need your shoulders over your wrists, ready to drive that knee into the elbow. We go four, three, two, one. Here we go, squeeze. Send it back, squeeze. Now, you don't necessarily have to speed up with these. I still want to see that perfect performance. Every single rep is perfect. Gripping the floor with those fingertips. Give yourself a little push now. Just really make sure you're squeezing those lats up to the ceiling. Really driving that upper back up. Squeeze it. Send it back. All right, 15 seconds. I know. I know you're starting to feel this now. Stay with me. Squeeze and push. Good. Final 10. Send it back. Hold it there. Good. We have five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. Drop your knees down. You're so nearly there. We've got one more exercise and we finished our second round. Nearly, nearly there. You've got 10 seconds. Get that dumbbell in place. Choose your movement. Heels down, chest lifted or legs off the floor. Okay. We're going to go in three, in two, in one. Here we go. Lift that chest. Rotate. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Exhale, rotate. Inhale, rotate. Good. Really control that movement. <sighs> it's amazing how much your mind has to focus when it gets tough physically. So that mental resilience has to build up. Otherwise, physically, you're not going to make it. So we've got to focus that mind. Stay strong in your mind and your body. We're nearly there. We have six, five, four, three, two, one. Dumbbell down. Amazing. We have one more to go. One more round to go. We are so, so close. When you get up, practice your anchoring. Get your mind right for that last round. <sighs> Final one. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're ready for it though. We have trained our minds. We have trained our bodies. Everything is built up to this last section. Okay. We're ready for it. Anchored, blue headed warriors. We're ready to hit it. Okay. 15 seconds. I need you there. Grounded, knee soft. Let's just practice that mindfulness. Take a deep breath, blow it all out. Eight seconds. We're going to go. Okay. Sliding down that leg. Last one. We go four, three, two, one. Here we go. Slide down, pull away. So this is the last round now. Remember when I said there's a time for speed? It's now. If you want to speed up a little bit more, now we can push a little bit better. All the way down, pulling away. Each of these rounds is going to bring with it another challenge, okay? Each of these is going to be tough purely because of the amount of time that we are doing each of these movements. So we've got to stay focused. We've got to stay strong. We can't let our ego get in the way as well. We're a team. We're going to finish this together, okay? <sighs> Pulling up. Nice. Wow. Final 10 seconds. We're nearly there, I promise. We've got eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. 10 seconds, just put the weight down, have a little shake off. Big inhale, ready to go. In four, in three, in two, in one. Here we go, down the leg, pull it away. Squeeze that dumbbell. So even though we've slightly picked up the tempo, we are still in control the whole time. All the way down, pulling away. Good. <sighs> Big squeeze up. Nice. <sighs> We're nearly coming up to that halfway point. This is where you don't want to drop off. When you hit that halfway point, you push a little bit harder. We've got this. Bam. Good. 20 seconds left. We're coming down to the floor for the rest of it. After this, you've literally got three minutes left. How do you want to finish this session feeling? <sighs> Squeeze, good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing, dumbbell down, come down to the floor. Soles of the feet together, knees relaxing out. This is our anchor. Slap the floor in front of your feet and get yourselves ready. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Here we go. Mind is focused, sharp, building up that mental toughness with every single rep. Now we can go for that speed. If you've been holding on to anything, now's the time to let it go. Good. Use that breath, drive. Bam, let's go. You're over halfway now. In about 20 seconds, you're gonna be in that plank position. Nearly there, come on. Good, final 10 seconds, let's go. We don't slow down, we speed up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing, 10 seconds. Now that heart rate is up, we've got to hold on, we've got to roll with it. The only way we thrive is by overcoming these obstacles, all these challenges, okay? Get yourself ready, we go three, we go two, we go one, here we go, squeeze that knee. Send it back, squeeze the knee, send it back. Drive it in, here we are, let's go. <sighs> squeeze that knee right into that elbow. Every single rep, remember, perfection. In, out. And if you make a mistake, if it isn't perfection, like the All Blacks do, don't dwell on it. Don't dwell on it. Let it go, move on, do better on the next one. Squeeze. Push it back, hold it there. Wow, 12 seconds, let's go. Squeeze it, push. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop those knees, 10 seconds only. This is the one I was talking about, okay? Remember when I said, this is gonna be our nemesis. This is the peak. Grab your dumbbell, we twist. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, lift that chest. Final 50 seconds. This is it. Whew. Rotate. If you've got that speed, go a little bit more, but don't lose your technique. Technique above all else. Lift that chest, twist. Focus your mind now, you're halfway through. In 25 seconds, it's over. If you wanna lift the legs, keep the legs still. Whew. Here we go, come on. Final. 15 seconds, so close. Ha. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow, dumbbell down. Stand yourselves up, take a deep breath. Well done. We absolutely smashed that together as a team. Amazing job. Now, something else the All Blacks practice is after a session like that, they go and do something for themselves to down-regulate, to just get their mind focused again, bring down that central nervous system. So whatever it is for you, whether you just wanna stay here, practice a little bit of stretching, a little yoga session, maybe a little bit of breathing and mindfulness, or even if you ran yourself a nice warm bath or made yourself a nice meal at home, whatever that is for you, Make sure you go and do it now and look after yourselves. We will see you next time.